Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today I have something a little bit different here on my channel and that is my first skincare haul video that I've ever made. So yes, as the title tells you, I have a really big Korean skincare haul to share with you guys today. So I have this box crammed full of some of the most popular and well-known, well-loved Korean skincare products that I'm really excited to share with you all. So I'm relatively new to Korean skincare. I only really got into doing a proper skincare routine during 2020 as we all had more time on our hands sitting at home. I really wanted to find a way to treat myself a little in the midst of all the stress and all the horridness of the pandemic. So that's how I found skincare and I started taking better care of my face and yeah my skin type is that I have a very sensitive and quite a dry skin so I don't tend to get oily but I tend to get dry and I also sometimes suffer from eczema flare-ups but I still want to enjoy some anti-aging skincare ingredients and the benefits of anti-aging skincare so for me it is very important to have skincare that is sensitive skin friendly and beneficial to my skin while also being very effective so i've been experimenting with several different kinds of products and it, it is always a trial and error to find a product that works for me and anytime i try new products i just try one at a time to make sure that it is suitable for my sensitive skin so yes i have this really big skincare haul here that i'm super excited to unbox so that i can start using my new products i order my korean skincare from a website called yes style and sometimes also from a site called Stylevana. And I actually have an affiliate code for Yes Style that I will write down below in the description box that you can use for a discount on the site. They don't just have skincare, they also have clothing and accessories and many kind of things. So check it out if you're interested in making a skincare purchase. This is not sponsored, I have bought everything myself, but I decided to make this affiliate code with them since I'm sharing my finds. So let's get into this juicy big box full of goodies. Everything arrived packaged very well with bubble wrap, so I'm happy about that. So what Korean skincare is famous for is of course the famous 10 step skincare routine. And of course it's not necessary to do 10 steps in a skincare routine. I'm a firm believer that your products don't need to be expensive to be good and work well for your skin. All that is important is that you do take care of it. So it's already enough to just cleanse and moisturize, maybe scrub one or two times a week. And that's already a plenty skincare for most people. But yes, Korean skincare is known for the 10 step routine. And I'm really excited to try this 10 step routine because I actually have not tried it before. Maybe if you think about it, I've already been doing 10 step routine because there are certain products I use in the morning and certain products I use in the evening, but I don't do 10 products all at once. But I want to also do this haul in the order of the 10 step routine. So what the Korean 10 step skincare routine is famous for is the double cleanse. So yes, you double cleanse your skin first using both an oil cleanser and a foam cleanser. And I only purchased a new oil cleanser because I already have a foam cleanser that I like. And the oil cleanser I got this time is this one. So it is the Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Light Cleansing Oil. So this is a very popular cleanser, but I have not tried it myself before. And it's made with pure centella from Madagascar. And it is the centella asiatica plant. And this is a very popular skincare ingredient in Korean skincare. It says here, skincare irritation test completed. This hypoallergenic cleansing oil contains centella asiatica extract from Madagascar and six types of plant-derived oil to gently remove impurities and stubborn makeup. The lightweight watery formula cleanses the skin, leaving it refreshed. So this sounds great and I'm excited to try it. A gift from the untouched nature, it says over here. I love the way the bottle looks. I think it looks very sleek and beautiful, which of course is a nice extra to have with your skincare, but it's not so important. 
It is an oil cleanser that comes in a pump bottle. It has a stopper as well. So yeah, I'll be definitely trying this one to see how I like it. Then of course, scrubbing is also part of the routine. I did not get a scrub either this time because I still have a scrub that I enjoy, but I am actually on the lookout for a new scrub. So if you have any recommendations for a scrub that you really like, let me know. But after the cleansing steps of double cleansing and eventually scrubbing, then we get to the fun part of the Korean skincare. So the next step is toner. And I got a new toner in here. Let me look for it. So the toner that I chose is here and it is the Sun By Me Snail True Giga Miracle Repair Toner. By the way, I'm sorry if I pronounce some of the ingredients wrong. This contains Snail True Giga 91% and Niacinamide 2% clinical solution. Snail toner formulated with Snail True Giga to soothe the skin and improve skin barrier and Niacinamide to brighten dull skin tone. So yeah, I definitely love brightening products, so I'm very excited to try this. And yeah, snail might make you want to run away, but snail mucin is actually a really popular ingredient in Korean skincare as well. The benefits of this are skin barrier repair, brightening and soothing. So this sounds great for me with sensitive skin and I'm very excited to try it. And this brand is super popular in Korean skincare i have several products here today to share with you guys from this brand this is how it looks again i really like the bottle design of this product as well i think this brand has a beautiful simple design that looks great and is also very clear as it details here the benefits of the product so yes toner so then the next step after toner is something called essences and this is something different if you're not used to korean skincare you might not have heard of essences because i hadn't before i got into korean skincare but essences are almost kind of like in between toner and serum so it is almost like serum but maybe a bit lighter also i got two essences that are really popular products in the korean skincare world and these are holy grails of a lot of people and the two essences that i chose are the coserex hyaluronic acid hydra power essence and the advanced snail 96 mucin power essence so yes, like I said, these two essences are swarmed by by a lot of people. And this brand, I really like them because they are affordable. So a lot of these products that I chose, by the way, are not high priced at all, which I definitely appreciate. And I'm a firm believer that skincare doesn't have to be expensive to be good. And these products definitely prove it to me because these products do not have that kind of high prices like you will find in the department stores, but they still work great. So here is the Hydra Power Essence with Hyaluronic Acid. And this is great for adding moisture to your skin. So Hyaluronic Acid is always great for moisturizing your skin deeply. It says here, rich in Hyaluronic Acid, this moisturizing essence helps build in skin barrier and keeps abundant moisture for dehydrated skin. So this is just the thing that I need during the autumn and winter season because my skin just gets drier and drier and drier. So I love this. And then the other essence that I also got from Cosrx is the Advanced Nail 96 Musing Power Essence. So yes, this is this famous nail musing that sounds kind of gross if you haven't tried it before but it is very very popular in skincare and yeah this is how it looks so these uh, bottles are very basic in design but i think they look nice and simple it says here that this snail mucin power essence being 96 percent snail secretion filtrate mucin this essence helps the skin to lose less moist while keeping the skin smooth and healthy so another moisturizing product that is just what my skin needs so these essences, all of these items actually, I like to use in the morning as well as in the evening. So then after the essences stage comes another stage that might not be so familiar to everybody. And that is ampoules. So what ampoules are, 
are kind of like more powerful serums. And I got one new ampoule in here. And it is this Kojic Acid Vitamin C Ampoule Serum. And this one, I don't know if it's super popular or not. I have not heard of it before, but I saw it on the site and I saw that it was really well priced. So I really wanted to try it because I wanted to have a vitamin C ampoule. Because vitamin C, of course, is very well known for its brightening effects. And that's something that I would like to have. And this brand, by the way, is APLB. And it says here, mild ingredients with the best results, which I like the sound of that. And it is just this bottle of ampoule serum. A smaller bottle with a pipette, which is just like a regular serum. And it says here, Kojic Acid, Vitamin C, Centella Asiatica Leaf, Water. So um, this one is good for tightening, moisturizing, brightening, soothing and calming, which all sound just what I need. So then after the ampoules part, we get to the serums. So yeah, serums are probably familiar to everybody by now. I got two new serums here, one for the morning and one for the evening, I guess, or you could use them both also at the same time. So the two new serums that I got are these. Firstly, I got this song by me, Yuchan, I'm not sure how to say this, Yuchan Niacin Serum. So this is Yucha Extract, 83% and Niacinamide, 10% and Dye Blemish Serum. So a serum containing 10% niacinamide and yucha extract that intensively cares for dark spots after trouble and helps brighten up dull skin tone with alpha milite brightening capsules in the serum. So yes, it is brightening and for dark spots, which is something that I have. And I do sometimes get blemishes. So as you can see here, this one is for even skin tone, blemish care and brightening, which are also benefits that I would really like to enjoy. And this is the cute little serum bottle. I really love this. The yellow color of it is so cute. And it also comes in a pump, which is nice. It's a good size 50 ml bottle of serum. So yeah, when I'm struggling with blemishes or dark spots, I'll definitely use this one. And then the other serum that I got is really a holy grail product for many people. And it is this Purito Soul Wonder Relief Centella Serum, unscented. And it's another product with this Centella Asiatica plant in it, which is a really popular ingredient in Korean skincare, as you can see. And something that I tend to gravitate towards with my sensitive skin. So this serum, you can get it in both scented and unscented version. I got the unscented one because of my sensitive skin. And this is really a wonderful serum for sensitive skin and dry skin. This is how it looks. Again, the bottle designs are just so pretty, simplistic, minimalistic, just cute to have in your bathroom. So this is a 60 ml serum and it is a soothing serum. So it says here, a soothing solution infused with Korean centella. This serum is formulated to calm irritation and redness on sensitive skin. So this is something that I like to use in the evenings to calm my skin after all the days pollution and makeup and makeup removal process and all the other stuff that my skin goes through and I really like it. Then after the serum step we move into moisturizer which is probably my favorite step in my skincare routine because I have dry skin and it just needs a lot of moisture and it is something that I never ever skip even if I don't have time to do my full routine I always cleanse and moisturize at least and use SPF as well that's another step that is really important for me so I was really excited to get a couple of new moisturizers and the first one here, I have not tried before, but I'm very excited because it is just so cute and it has been talked about so much for the past like 10 years on social media and I just never tried it, but I always wanted this. So finally I got it and it is this Elisa Vecca Retinol Cream. 
so yes i have used retinol before on my skin and it's all right of course i can't use it when i have a uh, active eczema flare up but, but when i don't it's all right to use on my skin so i've only used retinol serums before but this one is a retinol cream and it comes in this super cute so goodbye minimalistic designs this one is a super cute design so it comes in this super cute jar with this piggy design which is something that this brand does a lot this piggy design this is how it looks it's a good size jar of cream made in korea everything here is in korean so there is a qr code to read more about it i guess it is 100 grams, which is great. So the full name of this product is the Elisa Vecca Milky Picky EGF Elastic Retinol Cream. They say at the last stage of your skincare routine, evenly apply to areas of face and absorb it. Exposing to UV rays after using may cause skin irritation. Apply sunscreen when using the, in the daytime. So yeah, that's also why I like to use my retinol products at night, because it can make your skin sensitive to the sun, which is of course something I don't want, as I'm already pale and sensitive. So I use retinol products at night, and then during the day I use other products and still apply SPF the next morning. So of course, Retinol is well known for the anti-aging benefits of it. So I'm very excited to try the retinol cream and I hope it works for me. I don't know if it will because it's not one that is specifically for sensitive skin, but I'm excited to try it because it's so cute and I think it was well priced as well. Then I'm definitely in need of some new night moisturizer. I have a really basic sensitive skin nightly moisturizer that I've been using, but I would like to have some more anti-aging benefits of my night cream. So I'll be trying the retinol cream for sure. Then I did not get a new day cream because I have a big tube of my current day cream still, but I did get a new eye cream, which is the step after moisturizer. And it is from the same brand, Elisa Vecca. And it is this gold CF nest white balm eye cream and it also has this cute piggy in the packaging. So yeah, this brand is just so playful and fun and I really wanted to try this eye cream. The tube of it is absolutely gorgeous and you get a big tube over here. It's much bigger than the eye creams that I buy in the local drugstores here. So you get 30 ml in here. So yeah, this should also be a brightening eye cream. White balm, it's calling it. So I'm hoping that it will bring some help to my dark under eyes. I'm wearing concealer, so you can't see it right now, but I do have quite dark under eyes. So I'll be happy to try how this one works for me. And then after eye cream, the last step in the Korean skincare routine is SPF, of course or a sleeping mask at night. So SPF in the morning and then sleeping mask at night. And I already have a really good SPF cream that I like to use on a daily basis. And it is Garnier, by the way. Garnier's anti-aging SPF 50 face sunscreen is just so great. I love it so much. It's not crazy at all. It's not shiny at all, like a lot of other, other SPF creams. So I love using that and it combines great with other skincare products on top of them. So I love using that and I'm not switching it out anytime soon. So I'll keep using my Garnier for SPF. But I did get a sleeping mask that I'm also very excited about. As you all know, I've had a rough year when it comes to my skin this year. I've had several eczema breakouts and my skin just needs some extra love right now also because of the change in the seasons i'm just getting dry and i need some help so i got this multi-function formula snail wrinkle care sleeping pack by Misson, and this product is also very popular it's also made with this snail mucin ingredient that is all over korean skincare and it is like it says, sleeping pack, a sleeping mask. So this is the final step in your nightly skincare routine. You just apply it on your face after your other products. And I'm very excited to try this. Here you get 80 ml. And this is how it looks. And it comes with this little plastic spatula to apply, which is just so cute. 
so I'm super excited to try this. I feel like it will be such a pampering final step for my skincare routine at night. And I'm actually super excited about this product because of its uh, anti-aging wrinkle care. Because I have been noticing how my smile lines here have been getting deeper recently. I have some wrinkles in my forehead. You don't always see it in the videos because of the filmy light is so flattering. The light really hides many scenes. You don't really see the true state of somebody's skin on YouTube. So yeah, if I look like I have the perfect skin, it's not the case. It's the lighting, it's the makeup. I have a bunch of problems, like I said, really dry skin. I have some wrinkles, I have some breakouts, but that's why there are these products. So yeah, I can't wait to start pampering my skin with all of these products some of which are my tried and true and some of which are new to me but finally i have two makeup items here as well so you of course also have plenty of great korean makeup brands and one of them is uh, this tear tear and the cushion foundation have become a huge social media hit over the past few years and i've actually never tried it because you can't buy it in the shops here you can only order it online so I decided to order this tester pack. So this is the Mask Fit Red Cushion Mask Shield Enrich Coverage Foundation in a cushion format. And this is the tester pack that comes with these shades over here. So you can choose these tester packs for different skin tones. I'm not sure if I chose the lightest or the second lightest. Here in Europe, I'm always the lightest <laughs> shade in every foundation. But I've noticed that with Asian foundations, the lightest shades are too white for me. So this tester pack comes with six shades of the Mask Fit foundation. So I'm really excited to see what shade fits me best. So then maybe I can try this foundation and get the full size if I like it. So this one comes with the Fair Porcelain, Fair Ivory, Fair French Vanilla, Vanilla and Porcelain. So we'll see if they work for me or not. I hope so. But I'm super excited to try this foundation. It has been really viral and I really wanted to try it for a long time. So finally I will try it. And I've never had a cushion foundation before actually. So I'm super excited to see how I like it. Of course with the tester you don't get the cushion. So it's a little bit different experience. But at least you get to try the shapes. And then finally, I have my last item over here. And that is this Gigi Bear Cute Rabbit Velvet Lip Mud. So this is a lip product. And I have to be honest, I ordered it because of the cute packaging. And also, yeah, I love lip products. So I just have to try it. This is how it looks. And this is the shade 01. I think there was something like four shades maybe. And what makes it so cute is the fact that it's a little rabbit keychain. So it comes with this little keychain that you can attach on it. Onto the ear where there is a little hole. And then the lip mud itself is in the shape of this cute little rabbit. How adorable is that? I've never tried this product before, so we'll see if I like it. It's a lip mud, which I think is something between a lipstick and a lip stain. But this is the color 01. I don't know if this is a good idea. I don't have a mirror right here. It has a really nice scent to it, kind of fruity scent. So this is the color of it. I think it's really pretty and I'm really glad I got it. It's just so cute. So this was my Korean skincare haul. Let me know if you enjoyed it and let me know if you are using Korean skincare and what are your holy grail products. I would love to hear it. But that's all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel for more fun shopping videos. I'd love to talk to you soon again. Until then, take care. Bye.